All right, y'all. A little update here. We uh, we found this piece of chrome that goes here, and we found the ram ornament that goes right here, and we can get the piece that goes right here brand new, but I don't want to buy it. I mean, I know it's not going anywhere, so if I have to buy it brand new, I will. But if I can find one used that's in good shape, I'll do that. But whatever I got to do, I'm not concerned about that anymore. Though. This stuff is not perfect. It matches the rest of the stuff that's on here, a little pit and little age. So that'll be perfect for this. Um, we've got the old motor soaking. It still ain't freed up, but we're still trying. So we got that going on, and uh, I just noticed, oh, it's like a BB hole. Ugh. Anyhow, uh, so we got it soaking. Um, see what we're going to do. I, I did go, I did go yesterday and look at four different old school Hemis. Three of them were 331 Chrysler Hemis, and one of them was a 291 DeSoto Hemi. But all of them need some work, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I told all the guys that I'd let them know. I don't think they're going to... I don't think, think they're going to get gone real quick because it's not a motor that somebody's looking for. It's not a high demand motor for them Hemis, but they sure do look cool. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes if we can't get this motor unstuck. Um, we got options. We got options. So we're just weighing those options out. And uh, so that's where we are with the Dodge. Now, I got a good old friend that this uh, 53 Chevrolet belongs to. And uh, what we're going to do with it is he wants to put this thing on an S10 chassis so it'll be drivable. I mean, right now it's on a three-quarter ton chassis. It actually um, used to be used for some some towing so but we're gonna we're gonna pull this cab off i know it looks pretty rough with the patina and everything but actually it's a very solid cab it needs cab corners which they all do um but other than that it's a really solid shape um it's been in storage for a while outside storage and so he wants to he wants to do something with it, and so that's what we're going to do. Pretty cool old truck. Pretty cool old truck. So, in exchange for swapping the cab on that old truck, my friend has got a square body wrecker. It's uh, I think it's an 86. And it had a 6.2 diesel in it, which he sold the motor out the truck to somebody that wanted a 6.2 diesel. But it's a really, really nice truck. It's got a Holmes 440 bed with a wheel lift on it. But it's motorless. And I had this 350 right here. This is an 86 up uh, roller cam 350. It's a four bolt main. I built it with a roller cam. And I originally, it's got World Products street replacement heads on it. And I originally built this motor for a 68 four wheel drive that I had. And uh, I decided to go a different route with it. And so I had put it in my 67 
rat rod truck here. And uh, I know I get a lot of flack about doing a lot of different projects at one time. But when you uh, do that, sometimes you back off and, and you change directions and it will do stuff that different in the way you had originally intended. And that's the way this truck went. I had, I had this 350 in there with this MB3500 five speed. And uh, that's what I was gonna run in the truck. And then I started messing with these six liter trucks or six liter motors. And uh, I originally put a, a LQ4, which is the um, Yukon Denali motor. And uh, I got this Grand Prix and put it in here instead of in the old truck. And then I got a LQ9, which is the Cadillac Escalade motor and ended up putting in the 67 truck here. So that plan changed and evolved. And uh, I'm, I'm almost ready to get back on this thing. Um, I helped uh, James Lane work on his uh, 62 Beller wagon. And uh, we put a lift up in his, uh, in his shop, a four post lift to get him some more storage in there. And I've helped uh, Jonathan W. do some stuff. And I've actually bent and flared two sets of brake lines for Jonathan W. So it's time for me to do some for myself. And then plumb these fuel lines, which in, in the time that I've waited to do this, I've changed the way I'm going to do my fuel lines. And I'll show y'all. But I, I think I found a better way and a, 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 a least, uh, less expensive way to run my fuel lines and and that came from just thinking about it and letting it simmer for a minute so sometimes having more than one project going on helps to make a project out better so we'll see how that works out but i think it's working out pretty good i think i like the new plan better but anyhow back to this motor so we're going to take this uh this mv3500 five speed off of here because the, um, the old record's got an SM465 Granite Gear 4 speed. Um, but the clutch that's on here will work with that truck. So this motor's ready to go. I mean, it really could use some cleanup, and we'll probably do that. We're going to put, uh, we're going to clean these stock valve covers up and throw some paint on them. And we're going to take these uh, fend aluminum ones off because they look just too pretty to be underneath the hood of a wrecker. And, um, the old, the old wrecker's got air conditioning on it, so we'll we'll take this bypass pulley off and put a um air conditioning compressor on here, and uh, we'll drop that thing in that wrecker there, and we'll have this little powerhouse and a, a, a cool old wrecker. Um, so that's where we're going right now. Um, so we'll have a. Uh, might have some video on putting this motor in the wrecker. We'll definitely have some video of the um, chassis swap on that 53. Um, and whatever else we got going on around here, which is going to be, it's fixing the, it's getting ready to happen pretty strong here. Um, we're going to jump back on this. We're going to build some, uh, fuel lines and bend up some brake lines I need to uh, I need to get the rear end out of this um, this is a, a 308 gear positive traction rear end and we're gonna put it in the 55 um, along with uh, I've showed this before but for you new guys this is a 64 to 66 chassis. And so it, it'll enable us to have uh, independent front suspension. Um, we're gonna run airbags, but they're not gonna be used to drop and raise the truck up. We'll, we'll put it at one level and leave it there. But I already got the brackets and I already got the airbags. So I'm not going to put a fancy leveling system and compressors and all that crap on there. 
I'm just going to put uh, the airbags on there and put some Schrader valves on it or whatever so I can uh, put it at a static height. Um, and that way we can get a decent ride and a decent ride height on this truck and ditch this, uh, this straight axle. And uh, it's going to get this 6 liter we've been working on. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to put that MV3500 behind it or if I'm going to put a, um, a 4L80 behind it. I mean, I, I was thinking originally I'd put the 4L80 behind it, but I don't know. Uh, I love sticks, and so I might I might put the this MV3500 behind it. Uh, I just really hadn't decided yet, but we'll figure it out. And as I figure it out, y'all will see it. So that's a lot of what we got going on here. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Um, and it's going to happen pretty quick, I hope. The only thing that's going to slow it down is my, my internet. It's so slow that it slows the, the downloads or the uploads, actually, down terribly. That's, that's the biggest drawback I have. My upload speed is horrible. And um, I just, it takes forever. I mean, a good video of, um, of about a 12, 12, 15 minute video takes three or four days to upload. So it's, it's aggravating. Um, the work is actually going on a lot faster than what it seems like. It's just hard getting the videos up. I've got, uh, I've got a video of us putting that, uh, me and James putting up that four poster lift and I'll probably put that on sometime or maybe parts of it and mixed up something else. I don't know. I got a, I got a car show I went to a month ago that, uh, I want to get up for you guys. Just there's, I've got all kind of content coming for y'all, but my upload speed is, is my worst enemy. So as I can get them uploaded, edited and uploaded, I'll upload them for y'all's viewing pleasure and I'll keep y'all updated on what's going on around here. Um, it's going, it's, it's happening. I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's moving along really well and, uh, y'all hang tight with me and I'll show it to you. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you.